first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that's teaching his word in all true faith and sincerity. And today I just want to tie this lesson, A Righteous Renaissance. And um, pretty much um, the inspiration of this video came from a point the uh, Apostle Hart made concerning how, uh, you know, us being raised back up, you know, being reborn again, you know, it's, it's, it's like a renaissance, you know, the rebirth of really the house of David, man. You know, and that's the balance of your house by Hashem outside. This devil had a renaissance in a sense where, you know, you had that revived Roman Empire by the way of America, you know, uh, you know, that's the perfection of that, that renaissance, how this devil came back. Well, you know, that happened on the left hand side, well, guess what? It's also happening on the right hand side. The sun and the um, matter of fact, let's just get that in the book of um I believe that's in the book of Amos because if you read like I said that balance of the Lord you know you read the book of Malachi the first chapter it talks about the Edom was in ruins and desolate but they will rebuild the desolate places and the Lord allowed them to but ultimately their faith is what the Lord is going to ultimately throw down but in this case the Lord have thrown down Concerning Israel, now it's being built back up once again. So this is the book of uh, Amos, maybe Amos nine, so like yeah. Called Amos nine and eleven. It reads, "In that day, see, and guess what? This is that appointed day, right? Just that time period we in, man. You know, it said, in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen." And close the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. See, and that's what you're saying. So, you know, the house of David is is being built up, and it's a spiritual house. When you go to Second Peter, no, First Peter, the second chapter, the sign of this spiritual house that's being built up as, as lively stones. You know. And how's the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shah building us up? Let's get that in the book of uh, the book of Psalms. Psalm 140, 147. Come, yep, the book of Psalm 147 and 2. It says, The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, He gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. So as I mentioned earlier concerning First Peter the second chapter, and I believe that's the uh, fifth verse. Um, it talks about how we're being uh, built up as a spiritual house, as those lively stones, and this is how Yahweh by Shemal Shai is building up Jerusalem, that temple. It's by the way of the the outcast really, really is the elect, yeah, the holy ones. Those that are separated. Verse 3, it says, He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. See? So, this is how the building is taking place by the way of the minds, man. Because that what brought forth, uh, you know, that was the, the, um, the source of our desolation. You know, being um, dead from the neck up. Talks about that, um, you know, uh, pretty much that those that you know go astray from the, from the righteous way uh, will remain. And let me let me let me just get it in the congregation of the dead. I don't want to butcher that. I think it's twenty nine sixteen. No, let's see. Um, Bear with me. 21 and 16. Yep. 
the book of Proverbs chapter 21 and 16, it says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. See? So you wandering out of the way of understanding, you know, is equivalent to being dead, man. And as you can see, our people as a whole, our people are finished, man. Good is dead. You know, uh, you have grown men, uh, 35 plus, and their idol is NBA young boy. That show you that, you know, our people is finished. And ultimately, this is a miracle that's taking place, man. Yeah, how about some outside raising us up from that state, man? When you, like I said, when you look at our people as a whole, so-called leaders, even uh, this bitch, Sukiyana, she actually said it, that she was a leader. Even though she's ghetto, she's still a leader of this generation. And that's true, man. And guess what she's going to lead them? To destruction, man. They're going to keep, she's going to keep them right here in America. For that destruction to take place but as you can see those that wander out of the way of the congregation i mean out of the way of understanding will remain in the congregation of the dead you know so now you seeing the lord is reversing that process we're actually coming into the way of understanding and that is going to that what brings forth that life matter of fact let me get something real quick um because talk about uh, our people are lost and that can be also associated with uh, death as well as being found could be associated with life uh, let's get that in the book of St. Luke 15 concerning the prodigal son I'm just going to get the point um, bear with me come on yep, this is it this is um, St. Luke 15 in um, verse 24, it says, For my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be married. And when you jump up, it talks about how he was, uh, was riotous living, man. You know, not going away according to the uh, standards of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. That you consider dead, man. But now, when you're going to talk about how he came into himself and the knowledge of offense and you know, returning to his father, that was associated with him being found and as well as alive, man. So that's what you're seeing today, man. You know, uh, you have the elect of the nation of Israel, the house of David, once again being raised up uh, as in the days of old. And is the title I mentioned, um, like I said, uh, inspired inspiration came from what the elder Apostle Hop said earlier, signing uh, that Renaissance. Jake, we going through that now, but it's in righteousness, you know, that righteous Renaissance. So, this is what you're seeing, you know, the house of David being raised up. So, matter of fact, um. Let's get this in the book of um, Psalms, Psalms 85. Yep, Psalms chapter 85. In um, Psalm 85, in, um, man, I started at folk. I just started at folk. It says, turn us. O Yahweh by Shemal Shai, power of our salvation, and cause thy anger toward us to cease. And how is the anger of the Lord um, portrayed? You know, you know, the Lord taking away his name, his understanding from us, as well as, you know, giving us over to these other nations. We are being subject unto these other nations. That's how the Lord, you know, show forth his wrath to the nation of Israel. He says, Would thou be angry for us forever? Would thou draw out thine anger to all generations? And it seemed like that at one point. You no. Know, when you lack understanding, 
that we're going to always be at the bottom. I'll be always being in derision. We was in that dead state, man. You just hoping that you can just make it as a rapper. Uh, you know, some type of some to keep plant your foot here in America, man. That was that was that was the only option left for us. But hey, this is that 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 light, that hope at you know, that light at the end of the tunnel, that hope the Lord have given us, man. That this is not a end I'll be our thing. That the Lord is, he his he is now uh showing that peace and that mercy. Matter of fact, continue on, it says, Will thou not revive us again? <laughs> That thy people may rejoice in thee. And that's what you're saying, man. Us being once again being revived, man. Coming back to life. You know, that's that rebirth. Those ruins once again being raised up. This is what you're saying, man. A, a righteous renaissance. It says. It says, show us thy mercy, O Lord. And grant us thy salvation. I will hear with the Most High, the Lord Yahweh will speak, for He will speak peace unto His saints. It's like for He will speak peace unto His people and to His saints. But let them not turn again to folly. So, hey, just show you this is how that peace offering is being presented by the way of this word going forth. This is that peace, you know. And this is what bringing forth that uh, us being revived, us, you know, coming back to life, man, by the way of this word. So, matter of fact, I'm going to end off on this. Just like I said, uh, going back to that righteous renaissance, man, because this devil had that. He experienced that. He fell, you know, and he was he came back. Talk about that deadly wound that was healed. But that happened on the left hand side. Well, guess what? The Lord smote us, you know, and we was brought down to a lower state. And now you seeing uh the rebirth, the house of David once again coming back on the scene, man. The book of Revelation 11 and 8, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. And that um You know, uh, we already know you don't have to do no, and uh, you know, a thorough breakdown of why America is spiritually Sodom, man. As well as Egypt, it's actually all the way down to the geographical, you know, part. It it all equates to Egypt as well. So hey, that hey, it, and they prove that we in that time. It says, it says, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in grave. So, and this with these nations, they was anticipating this for our downfall. And they didn't, they didn't uh, tell us that we were Israelite. They didn't give us no rest. They capitalized on our downfall. You know? Tell us about how the dogs came and licked the sores. Uh, they they drunk of the cup of, of his holy mountain, you know, taking the gold or the silver, which is the Israelites, man. And they that dwell upon the earth shall shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth, you know, which is Israel. But as you can see, by us being in that dead state, this is what caused the nations to rejoice. It says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. See, so, you know, from pretty much 16, 20, 19, 70, really when, the, uh, you know, the Elder Abba Bibbins came on the scene, man, this is, this is, this is what, this is the beginning stages of it. Talks about that in the book of Malachi, I believe that's the fourth chapter. We're concerning the end time where, uh, the hearts of the children will go to the father as well as the father to the children, man. You know? So that's us really uh, going to your house side, man. 
it says, it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. See? That's that righteous renaissance because they thought that that this was it. You know, that they, you know, the, the, the desires of these nations was met by the way of our downfall. But, hey, this is the Lord through a monkey wrench, man. This is that miracle because this system is set up to keep us down, you know, from the shit that's on the TV from to the shit that's in the food, even the clothes we wear. But the spirit of Yahweh by some outside is, is it overrides all that shit, man. And now you seeing the house of David once again being built up. So yeah, I can I just hope that we're edifying. I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Racha Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Teach his word in our true faith and sincerity. Shalom.